It's nearly half past six. Stay with us now. It's time to join the BBC's news teams where you are. Bye-bye. Good evening, I'm Claire Summers. Welcome to Wales Today. Tonight's headlines. Under fire and heading for a showdown, train drivers say they still plan to strike over lower salaries here compared to England. There's a salary of 35,000 roughly at the moment. The 12% pay rise that's on offer on the table will take them to 39,000. With the greatest respect, train drivers only need five GCSEs and I think in this climate that's a pretty good deal. On the eve of the Labour Spring Party conference, the Labour leader Ed Miliband tells a rally he supports a yes vote in the referendum with all his heart. I'm at Swansea Museum marking the 70th anniversary of the Swansea Blitz. We'll be looking at how the city centre was changed forever and at how difficult it was to rebuild. Well, the Germans targeted the retail centre of Swansea and St Mary's Church was particularly badly damaged. The roof caught fire and fell in and had to be significantly rebuilt in the post-war period from the 50s onwards. And it's a sellout. The Wales football team will play to a packed Millennium Stadium for the first time in five and a half years. Good evening. The train drivers union ASLEV has defended its decision to, state, to stage strike action against Arriva Trains Wales, accusing the company of paying Welsh drivers lower wages than their English counterparts. The and that is Wales today. All through the weekend there'll be events to mark the 70th anniversary of the Swansea Blitz at 2.30 tomorrow, a special remembrance service at St Mary's Church. But for now, from all of us on the programme, goodbye.